Hi everyone, today we are going to see that mobile local storage preference using .NET Maya applications. You all know that, okay, Jamrin also we have Jamrin 5.0, the preference, local file storage and local database, secure storage. There is a fantastic four, four new way to the store the local data in the mobile applications. In this video, I am going to share the small demo, okay, how to use the preference in .NET Maya application using Visual Studio, okay, let me get started. So we all know that, okay, uh, Microsoft in Maya application, there is a vertical stack layout and horizontal stack layout, newly they introduced in the layout section. It is under the same like as a stack layout, okay, stack layout, we have to set the orientation. Here it is default is vertical stack layout is uh, react as a vertical, okay, horizontal stack layout is default, it is a horizontal, okay. So I have ordered the vertical stack layout here and also two labels, okay, uh, the labels mentioned that what is uh, this demo, okay. Next I am putting as a txt name, it's like username, another thing was uh, displaying the date and time, okay. So I added as a one register button and logout button, okay. In this demo, let me store and get the data and remove and clear, logout we can use as a, how we can clear our uh, uh, preference uh, value, okay. So let me go to the coding part, event, okay. So register click and logout button and uh, constructor it is there, okay. So before using the preference, we have to uh, add the, our namespace, okay, what is the file storage we are going to use. So using, okay, Microsoft dot, okay, MAUA dot storage. That is a names we are, we need to use for the uh, preference uh, uh, class, okay. So I have added here, so preference, okay, if, if you add the namespace, automatically it will come as a preference. If dot simple, okay, it will ask for the what is the next method you need to use. So let me see that set method, okay. So I have to give the key value, okay. What is the key you have to maintain, okay. For example, I need to say that username, okay. So next, right, it will ask, that you can able to see that there is a 14 overload method is there here, okay. So if you clicking on one on all the method, there is a different type of data type it will support, okay. For example, uh, you, it, it will uh, double or a date time or a string or a integer or a boolean, different type of preference value you can set the preference uh, value, okay. Here we are need to give for the string, so you don't, we don't want to do anything, just you can give the text, automatically it will take as a text parameter here, okay. So next we are going to set whenever a user is registered, same date and time I need to uh, save, okay. For example, preference dot set, okay. Let me say last registered, last registered uh, time, okay. So let me see the date time dot now. Here what will happen, okay. So whenever you are clicking on the register button, the preference value it will save to the username key and last register key, okay. So you have to display this value, okay. You have to display the value when, whenever the user is launching the application. So let me do the, in, the, in this constructor, okay. So let me say that txt username dot txt, okay, here preference dot get method okay here if you see right uh, uh, so get method allowing for the two value okay key value and the default value suppose you your key is not exist okay suppose the value is not exist what is the value you you have to give for as a default okay so you can give us empty string whatever the things okay for example username i am going to give it won't give the any error. Suppose key is not exist, uh, so application will give error, right? Here the key is not exist. You don't want to check that key is already is there or not, okay? If you set as a default value, automatically it will take as a default empty string, okay? So it won't throw any error, 
for example next i will say that will daytime dot text here okay so for reference dot get okay again you have to say that what is the key value last register is our key value so last register so i have to display the default daytime okay default daytime so here right string type okay this is daytime now it's like a daytime format okay the type is daytime okay for that what you can do you can assign the variable daytime dot okay so last register okay last reg i can say like that then you can assign this type to here in the label you can assign convert to string type okay here what will happen suppose default it is not register anything default it will take as a daytime dot now current time what is the time it will display okay device time it will display okay so let me run the application and will show that okay i will keep as a break point here so running the application so application is running okay let me do for a step over okay so let me check here okay there is a no text in the key okay so that's why it is assigning to null value okay empty string so here it checking already is there or not it is not there so that its current day time it is displaying and uh, let me go to next step this assigning to label okay so our application is running so now default day time is displaying but here we mention as a uh, empty string okay so let me add here is a my name is sudhakar okay i will do the register okay let me do the step over okay now data is registered successfully so now i will close my application okay i am running the application again so again breakpoint is coming step over step over step over i am checking here sudhakar is assigning last registration okay this value right suppose uh, whenever you are uninstalling the application that time this whole value it will uh, vanish okay so the application close and open uh, close and open that time it will keep on retaining the value what is the value you replaced okay suppose if you want to replace again you want to do the registration you can do the register that time it will keep uh, replace the value okay last value whatever the value you can use you can use don't use uh, very big level objects and all use it very lightweight uh, text anything okay last day time and otherwise uh, most of the our mobile application supporting for the multiple language that time you can use for the uh, whenever the user is opening the application and uh, close and open again whichever the language they are uh, choose to last they can display in the same language okay like that uh, option if you are doing in your application maybe this will more helpful okay so now i am running the application default if you see that uh, the sudhakar it will display here if you see right sudhakar it is displaying okay same like suppose if you are doing logout if you want to clear my your uh, preference okay so you can say that preference dot clear okay if you if you want to clear all the data you can use as a preference dot clear okay if what will happen the username log, last login if you are having different pages if you added any preference automatically it will get clear okay so suppose if you want to check this preference if it is there you can remove like that if you want to check so there is a option for if preference dot contains okay contains key okay you can check this key is already exist or not if it is exist okay you can remove like that if you want to check so i'm saying that preference start remove okay what is the key okay as per our program right here if preference start clear it will clear automatically okay so let me remove this one okay so clear mean it will clear everything if you are check and uh, remove mean only one key if this key is there mean it will remove that's all okay let me do this one so i will keep as a break point this place so now you can see that sudhagar and uh, 
this one is there okay i'm not clear anything so uh, now we will do for logout okay so you can check this key is uh, key is already is there so that it is making us a clear okay so f10 running and again i am trying for logout for again logout it's coming here this key is not available okay so that what will happen it won't go inside it will come out so if you run application again right the auto, the sudhagar name is already is, uh, did the logout okay so that it won't be displayed there okay so here you can see that the username whatever the default is coming that value is not there because of we did for clear remove remove preference okay so that the value was vanished okay if you want to add again you can register okay i hope so this video more useful for you so next video uh, i will explain about the local file storage okay uh, thanks for watching